All right, we're back. We're back with another question. All right, another question. All right. Let's get right down to it, man. Who really drinks root beer floats, bro? Hmm? Who really drinks a root beer float? I've personally never seen someone drink a root beer float or even order one. Where did it come from? Who created it? Who likes it? Do you? Let me know down below in the comments, man. That's right. Root beer floats. Yes or no? Or am I tripping, bro? YouTube, what's going on, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Deidre Elix Jr. And I'm indeed back with yet another fragrance video, all right? So we are back for the 51st installment of the weekly rotation video, all right? So, um, man, had some great, great fragrances I wore this week. Weird, weird week with the weather. Uh, beginning of the week, it was kind of cool and very comfortable. Then we got really warm. Then we were borderline hot. And um, springtime is trying to kick in the door, man. So definitely had to switch up to some fragrances that I hadn't worn in quite some time. But it was a good week, all right? So this is covering the week of February the 19th. I'm going to talk about every fragrance that I wore um, during that week, all right? So smell good family. Hopefully everything is good, great, fantastic. Hopefully everybody is doing well. And, uh, you know, positive energy and positive vibes. You know what we on here. You know, that, that's number one. You got to be positive, all right? And of course, if you're going through not so great of a time right now, you know, I hope everything starts to turn around for you, your family, your loved ones very, very quickly um, so you guys can be back on that positive tip, all right? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's start with Sunday, all right? So on Sunday, it was still cooler out. Um, I think it was like high 40s, mid 40s um, on that Sunday, but then the weather just gradually got warmer very, very quickly uh, throughout that day. And, uh, but I was glad that I was able to wear this one and get an experience with it because I might not be able to experience it again until we get cold again. Uh, um, I'll be forgetting the name of the house from, I think it's what, Jose Palooza? Yeah, Jose Palooza. All I know is we got Halloween Man X. Halloween Man X. Forgive me for not knowing uh, how to pronounce the name of the house, but this is a great fragrance man great great uh boozy coffee like uh fragrance for sure uh i think it's a like a whiskey note in here along with some coffee some vanilla um just really really good very very synthetic very synthetic <laughs> make no mistakes about it but once it gets on your skin and once things start to really play out with this fragrance um it's just one of the better fragrances for sure all right so for the fall and the winter time this could definitely have you not smell like anybody else and for me on that day i did get a couple of compliments leaning more masculine not saying women couldn't try their hand at it but this is more on the masculine side for sure so great performer i got about nine to ten hours of steady performance out of this thing the projection is very very good and uh i almost forgot about it i'm not gonna lie i almost forgot about it in my collection and i'm glad i was able to get aware just in case the cold weather is officially done especially where i am uh in jacksonville florida so on sunday we went with halloween man x halloween man x really enjoy it man really enjoy it all right on monday boy i was off that day i didn't really get my day started to probably midday but it was really warm out the gate perfect time to really try this one out for sure from the house of afnan we went, well, second time wearing this, but we went with Afnon's 9 a.m. dive. 9 a.m. dive. So I was able to get a full wearing out of this one, and man, it just did not disappoint at all, man. You get this real um, interesting take to a blue fragrance with this one here. You got this kind of 
creamy, citrusy, slightly aquatic, big aerobatic style of a fragrance, man. Really, really enjoyed wearing this. Just moving uh, out and about throughout my day on Monday. I had quite a few things to take care of, and um, this one just really held it down. True performance out of this thing, I got around seven to eight hours roughly. Projection was great. Um, you know, it picked up, you know, my sillage as I was out and about because it was a little bit of a nice wind out. But all in all, this one didn't disappoint. And I could definitely, you know, see myself wearing this a lot when I'm on the go or on the run. Um, probably test it in the office down the line. But this just was good. It was good. And I really enjoyed it, man. On Monday from the house of Afnan. We went with 9 a.m. dive. I always like those bottle styles, man, with the 9 a.m., 9 p.m. lineups, all right? On Tuesday, we were back in the office, and then the weather was just doing what it wanted to do. Got up that morning, I go to work very, very, very early, and it was really cool out, man. We were back down into the, <laughs> into the 50s, and, and I had been itching to wear this one, man, so I'm glad I got to wear it. Um, probably my favorite. Probably my favorite from the line, but from the house of Versace, we have Versace Arrows Flame. Versace Eros Flame, all right? This is really good. This is a more spicier take on the DNA. Um, instead of that apple, you get an orange note, um, but spicy citrus vanilla style of a fragrance, which you get. And I thoroughly enjoy this fragrance for sure. Big performer on my skin. I get about nine to 10 hours on with this one as well. And I don't even spray this one heavy. Well, it depends on what you consider heavy. I went about five to six sprays on this one and it did its thing. And as I was going throughout my day and getting towards the end of my day, getting ready to shower uh, later on that evening, I could still smell this coming off my chest because I give myself one good spray to the chest um, when I spray my fragrances. But um, this is really, really good stuff. It doesn't get a lot of love. Matter of fact, it kind of gets kind of pushed to the side because you got the EDT and you got the EDP and then you have the parfum. But don't sleep. If you're looking for slightly different take on the DNA, look in the flame, man. I really enjoyed it a lot and it might be my favorite from the line from the House of Versace on Tuesday. We went with the Arrows Flame. Love that red bottle, man. Love what, they, love what they did with that, all right? All right, moving along to Wednesday, all right? Wednesday, it was warm. It wasn't cool at all. I woke up in the morning, it was right in the 60s, and uh, got up until like the mid 80s of that day, and I just was in the mood for this scent. I wanted to smell it, I wanted to experience it, and I'm glad that I went with it. From the house of Narcisco Rodriguez, we went for him, Blue Noir, the EDP, all right? The EDP. Musky, woodsy, fresh spicy. Man, this is just a masterpiece for the office and for the spring, all right? This is a spring type of fragrance in my opinion, and it is perfect for the office. So I don't work outside, I work indoors. So, you know, from the time I get to work and then I make it to the office, this is something, whether I'm going in and out, it's just going to work. I really enjoyed this stuff. Now on my skin, I don't get the best performance out of this thing. It depends on what you're looking for, but for me, it was just fine. I usually work around nine, 10 hours in a day, and this one held me down right around that seven hour mark. Right around seven hours, um, that's when this really starts to become a skin scent. And I sprayed this pretty good. I go six to seven sprays. Um, guillotine boys, where you at? And, uh, but no, no one has ever told me I offended them with my fragrance at least in a serious way, all right? But um, this stuff really performed, did well. I was in a mood for it, and uh, just perfect for the office and perfect for the spring on a Wednesday. Such a good one, man. If you can find it, grab this, guys. If you're in the musky, fresh, spicy, woodsy type of fragrances, please look into this one. From the house of Narcisco Rodriguez, we went with For Him, Blue Noir, the EDP. Big fan, man, big fan. All right, all right. moving along to Thursday, I was off for the weekend. My weekend started a little bit earlier, ain't gonna complain there, and um, it was hot. <laughs> it was hot, warm out the shoot. I was running around all day long, just moving out and about, and uh, you know, I took the time to reintroduce myself to this one. This is my favorite from their line, from the house of Banana Republic. All right, we have Vintage Green 78. Vintage Green 78. Man, fig, tea. Man, just some greens. Oh, citrus just smells so good, bro. It's so easy to wear this. 
It's So Easy, my favorite from the line, and it's one of my go-to fragrances for the warmer months, all right? Like, in all series, look how much juice. I got this last year, and that's how much juice. For me, and with the size collection that I have, and I typically wear something different every day, but with this one last summer, I was pulling it left and right. You can wear this to the gym, you can wear this to the office, you can wear this to run errands, you can do whatever you wanna do with this scent. Highly recommend this scent for the warmer months. And just to get reintroduced to it, man, I really enjoy wearing this. And I got a compliment in my local uh, Burlington Coat Factory. I got a compliment by uh, a young lady who was walking by me asking what I was wearing. And I was, she wanted to see if she could find it for a boyfriend, but they didn't have it out. They didn't have it. So I just told her to keep checking back for sure. But this one was good, man, on Thursday. Really love this stuff from the House of Banana Republic. We went with the Vintage Green 78. 78. Really like this stuff, man, a lot. All right. All right, moving along to Thursday. I guess the my lights just started to go blue. All right, let's kind of brighten this thing up a bit. All right. From the House of Perfumes, the Marley on, what are we at? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're on Friday, all right? On Friday, from the House of Perfumes de Marley. This stuff is fantastic. We went with Perfumes de Marley's Percival. Percival. Man, this stuff is real deal great, bro. Musky, fresh spicy, um, florally, um, florals, just really, really good stuff. I really, really, really enjoyed this fragrance great performer on my skin i get about eight to nine hours of great performance with this stuff and it's really really good um just recently acquired a full bottle i had a 10 ml sample that i was wearing last summer so i'm glad to have it in my collection this was full bottle worthy for me this is something i'm really going to be working out in the spring and in the summer uh for sure so this stuff is good, really enjoyed it. Um, man, I can't wait to wear it again. So on Friday, moving around from the House of Parfums to Marley, we went with Percival. Percival, all right? And then on Saturday, to close out the week, man, Saturday was a very rough day uh, for me, um, family, friends, and um, you, know, I, you know, I said farewell to one of my close friends, and um, I always wear this when it's something of significance in my life. Something of significance, always wear this. It kind of brings a comfort to me. Uh, it's probably my, not probably, it is my favorite fragrance of all time. And um, this one just did what it was supposed to do for me during that time. From the house of Chanel, we went blue to Chanel's. Parfum, parfum. Probably heard me say it before, this is my favorite fragrance of all time. You got the blue, to D, blue de Chanel DNA but more bolder, more richer, a little bit more heavier, a little bit more creamier. And um, it performs like a monster on me. I've had this about um, maybe almost three years. I've had this bottle, two years, three years I've had this bottle. And um, it's like it's gotten better with time and it just represents so many things to me. I've worn this when my children were born. I've worn this, um, you know, on big time events that are, you know, like I said, have some significance. And it's, it's always there, it's always there. And I, you know, really enjoy wearing it when I get the chance to. Just with this situation, man, I just felt like, you know, this was something that was gonna help me out throughout that day, and it definitely did. On Saturday, from the house of Chanel, we went Blue de Chanel, Parfum. Parfum, all right. All right, so Melga fam, I'm gonna wrap up this weekly rendition of the weekly rotation video, week 51. Of course, let me know down below in the comments, what did you guys wear? Please let me know down below. Um, I always enjoy reading the comments, what you guys wore throughout the week. And, um, you know, I said it a lot, man. This is my favorite video to do. It's my favorite video to do. And uh, always look forward to the conversations from you guys. All right. So until next time, man, y'all be cool. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the love. We're on the way to 5,000 subscribers. I'm super excited, super happy, and just thankful overall, man, for the experience um, that you guys give me, man, by what I do here on this channel. It's really, really dope. All right. So um, like I say, all, like I say all the time, splacker up, splacker down, splacker that thing all around, man. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Y'all take care of yourselves, man. Be cool. All right? Appreciate it.